With bar counting, I'm counting the number of attempts that the trend makes to resume. And it's the same as the number of legs in a pullback. For example, in a two-legged pullback, an ABC correction, um, after the first leg down, the market tries to turn up. That's a high one. The market turns down again for a second leg. And when it tries to resume up again that second time, that is a high two buy setup. In a sideways to down market in either a bull trend or a trading range. Okay, either a bull trend or a trading range, not a bear trend. If the high of the current bar, if the, if the high of the next bar goes above the high of the current bar, the current bar becomes a high one buy signal bar. You can call it a high one buy setup or a high one reversal. The bar that goes above the high is the high one entry bar. That would be the bar in which you enter the trade. You'd place a buy stop one tick above the high of the signal bar. The high one ends the first leg of the sideways to down move and it might be the end of the pullback in a strong bull trend. It may be the first leg down in a larger pullback, for example in a triangle or a um, wedge bull flag. If the market continues sideways to down after the high one triggers, the next occurrence of a bar going above the high of the prior bar is a high two reversal and that ends the second leg of the correction. There are lots of ways to do the counting, but you shouldn't lose sight of the goal. The goal is to look for pullbacks to buy in a strong bull trend. For example, a pretty good bull spike, a one bar pullback, so it's a potential high one buy signal bar. Traders might want to buy one tick above the high of that bar. Here, the market turned down again for a second leg. So you can call it an ABC correction, A, B, and C. If the market goes above the high of this bar, that would be going above the high of the second leg down. This would be a high two buy signal bar, and it would be a reasonable uh, setup for a long in a bull trend, buying one tick above the high of the bar. Here, we sold off after uh, seven or eight bars up, and the first time the market goes above the high of the prior bar is a high one entry. So this bar, this bull bar, is a high one entry and this is the high one buy signal bar. So as the market is selling off, traders will place a buy stop to go long, one tick above this bar, and then one tick above this bar, and then they get filled on this bar. Here you could call this a high two buy setup uh, because it's part of a larger correction. One leg down here, the market went up, and then a second leg down here. Anytime you see a double bottom, you have two legs down, and that means it's a high two buy setup. You could also call this a smaller high two because the market went up to this bar, went down for a small bar, and then up again, and then down again as well. So it's a high two with respect to this high one, and it's a high two with respect to this larger pattern, this larger high one. Another bull spike, a pause. Um, a two bar pause so it's a high one buy setup and here's the high one entry bar one tick above the high of the prior bar is where you get long it went sideways more so here we have a sideways correction a down bar a couple bars up another down bar so that's two legs sideways to down so this inside bar is a potential high two buy setup and traders will place a buy stop one tick above its high to go long another bear uh, microchannel and a strong bull trend and it's a high one buy setup you could also call this a high two we have a, a, a bar down here and then a bull bar and up bar and then down here it doesn't really matter what you call it as long as you remember the goal the goal is to find setups that will allow you to enter in the bull trend here you might want to wait until we get closer to the moving average and um, when if to see if we get a better signal bar and here that's what we have we have a um, a bull body which is a better signal bar so a high two you can count look, count it using the pink numbers high one high two we went sideways here and had three pushes down a bear bar up a couple more bear bars up a couple more bear bars um, so three pushes down in my mind I think of any uh, three push pattern that's uh, basically horizontal as a triangle, even if it does not have a triangle shape. 
So the bias setup is above the high of this bear bar. Uh, we have a two bar reversal here, so you could go along one tick above the high of the bull bar.